Welcome to the Meet Mistress podcast. I'm your host, Emma Butler, and this is my audio diary of life on the farm as a full-time farmer, wife, and mother, not always in that order. And oh yeah, I also own and operate a butcher shop. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time as I chat all things farming, small business, and more. Okay, if you saw the title of this podcast, I want to preface this little chat by saying that please don't think that I am complaining or whining or ungrateful in any way because I am definitely not trying to come across in that manner. However, this is a conversation that I just have to say out loud because it sort of continuously floors me that some people feel the need to blatantly plagiarize is 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 the word for it the work of others now this has been something that has kind of actually happened to me my whole career thus far as a business owner in J&E Meats which is our on farm retail store and now butcher shop and the more business has grown the more I have seen this happen and I don't even know how to explain this without like divulging too many details. Okay. I'll just, I'll just tell you the backstory. There is, um, a similar business to ours, a farm to table business that's about an hour away. So I mean, it's not like they're next door to me, um, that for their marketing and their advertising and the things they post on social media, blatantly copy and plagiarize the things that I do. And I would not be perturbed by this, you know, as hard if they weren't using exact words and phrases the way that I use words and phrases. So I always say, we are your farmers. Now they're saying that. I always say, you know, thank you for building the dream with us. And now they're saying that. So I I hope I hope this business owner is listening because what I would say if that business owner was in front of me is instead of copying me and plagiarizing my words and taking my ideas and trying to claim them as your own, instead of doing that, let me help you. Ask me for guidance, bounce ideas off me, like let's chat, let's help you build your own brand and build your own unique identity. You don't have to take something that someone else is doing just because I'm being successful with these methods and this verbiage and this level of transparency does not mean that you have to do verbatim the exact same thing. You could totally do something similar. And frankly, since we started our business, um, this is actually our fifth summer. So it's crazy to think that only four years ago, I was serving people out of my garage and then we built a small farm store. And then last summer we had a field that we were building our new farm store in. And this summer we're serving out of our brand new bigger farm store and butcher shop. So like things have come really, really fast to us. And we are so blessed and so grateful to have had this happen to us in our business. And that being said, when I see not even just this other business, this other business in particular is just grinding my gears because they're using verbatim the exact same verbiage as I do. And they're saying things like I do and they're copycatting posts and stuff like that. And this would bother me if they weren't an hour away. This would bother me like if they were in another country, I'd be like, pardon me. I, I, I kind of started that, but that's okay. Because what I'm learning out of all this and how I'm learning to navigate this is that when you are in the lead of the race, you are not looking behind you. When you are in front and you are doing well and you are just staying in your own lane with the blinders on, minding your own business, you'll always be successful. Because if you listen to my other podcast where I talked about how haters are fans, copycatters are kind of fans too, right? Because they're also watching what you do. They're also taking your ideas. And I mean, I don't find it flattering. I find it really annoying. You know, the, that old saying of imitation is flattery. Uh, no, it's not, not for me, for this girl. Imitation is freaking annoying because I know 
that if I can be creative, if I can find solutions, if I can, you know, build this brand and build this identity and this company culture, and if I can serve my customers to every extent of my being the best that I know how through transparency and through honesty and through literally just sharing our story and our life and what we do, then I know that you can do that too. You have your own story to share. You have your own life to lead. You have your own customers to serve. So, you know, as I try to navigate this, and I've seen this before too, there was, so this, this instance in particular that I'm talking about where someone local to us is in the same field is plagiarizing. This has happened before too. There's another place, another firm store. um, They're like nine, 10 hours away from me that were doing the same thing as well too. So, I mean, it's not new. And again, I don't want to be like, look at me, I'm a genius. Everybody's copying me. But I mean, I get it. You see a good idea or you see a good something and, and you know, you want to, you want to do that too. And, and I want that. I want that for other businesses. I want us all to be successful. I want us all to win. There is enough space for all of us in this food, in this farm to table journey, in this niche, in this environment. There's enough room for all of us. Don't get me wrong, but it's how you go about it. And it's the way that you carry yourself and it's your demeanor and it's how you build your business. It's the way you go about things. And I want to see these other businesses do their own thing. I truthfully do because I know that they will be successful. You know, when you stop riding on the shirt tails of somebody else, you will thrive. You will plant your own seeds and they will grow in your garden and we can all admire it and all prosper. So... The reason why I wanted to come on and just chat about this today is because it's been bothering me. It's been bothering me. And I I have to say it out loud. I have to talk to somebody, right? And it's something that I'm navigating. And for me, it's a consistent thing. It's a consistent thing that I see happen. Um, I've seen it happen to my, uh, I have other friends that have businesses not similar at all to mine. You know, I have friends that have candle businesses and flower businesses and all that kind of stuff. And they've all seen it too. Um, Maybe not to this exact extent, but similar. And don't get me wrong. I mean, like nothing is new. No ideas are new. No movie you have ever seen is completely new. Like, you know, if if you watch some movies, for example, they can trace back to literature and, you know, they're, say, like the storyline of Romeo and Juliet or Hamlet or whatever, right? Like everything started in literature years before we were born and where it is now in the entertainment industry. And what I am doing is not new. It's not absolutely groundbreaking, revolutionary. You know, I'm not curing cancer, okay? Um, But it is the way that you go about things. And I wanted to just touch on this subject matter because I'm a little lost on it, to be honest. I'm kind of lost of how to navigate it. I've thought, like, do I message this person? Do I comment on their post? Like, what do I do about this? And for me, the solution has been literally like block, delete, repeat, block, delete, repeat. Like I try not to follow, um, this person's personal, you know, social media or their business page or their newsletters or anything like that, because I know they're following mine and I know they're following it very closely. I know they are on my email list because, because, I have other friends that have also noticed this as well that I've had to kind of bounce ideas off of, of like, hey, how do I structure a conversation with this person that is plagiarizing my words, like a verbatim things that I say to my email list, they have turned around and said to their email list. Um, So, I mean, if it wasn't to this extent where like my words are being stolen, then I I really wouldn't care. But it it does just like grind my gears a little bit that this has happened. And again, I don't want to be like, oh, poor me, you know, da, da, da. None of that at all. But I wanted to jump on and just talk about it because it's something that I'm still navigating. It's something that I'm learning. And it's something that I want to get better at just sort of accepting with grace and moving forward and not let it be a conflict and not let it be a burden and not let it be something that rides on my mind and my heart. And definitely I don't want it to come into my business and bring negative energy because... I mean, like, you know, the big girl in me really knows that karma is my friend, as Taylor Swift would say. And yeah, it is going to take all my friends to the summit. You know, the Swifties will understand. But 
it is something that it, it does happen. It happens to small businesses. It's sad to see other small businesses do that, you know, to those extents. And, you know, I think it stems from them not having enough confidence or enough understanding in business or their, their particular business. I think that's what it comes down to is that business owner that is plagiarizing, copycatting, whatever you want to call it, other businesses. It's just, they don't know enough about themselves. They don't know about their, enough about their brand. They don't know enough about their customers. Like they, they just don't know enough. And, you know, rather than just taking the easy way out and taking somebody else's thoughts, if they were to put more energy into creating organic thoughts and organic posts and organic connections, I know their businesses would be more successful. I can confidently say it. Your business will do better if you focus on your business and not always looking over your shoulder what everybody else is doing and taking things that other people are doing. Um, so I just want to handle this with, with grace, as much grace and understanding as I can. And block, delete, repeat. If I don't see it, it can exist out there in the world all at once. I just don't need to be bothered by it. And I hope if these themes come up in your life for you, that you also have the ability to navigate them with grace and understanding and, you know, just without letting it wear too much on you because it's going to happen as well, whether you see it or not, whether you see the, those things playing out or not, there's still things that are going to happen. That's just kind of what people do. And, you know, I, again, I don't want to keep bringing it up, but if those business owners need help or need guidance or need resources or just want to chat for myself, I know that I absolutely would love to be a resource for them. If, if you are a small business owner and you're like, Hey, you know, I'm selling bracelets. How do you think I should go about it? You know, a person like me, you can totally hit me up and ask me, I will give you my unsolicited advice. (laughs) You know, I'm a, I got a a PhD and nothing, but Hey, if you want to have a chat, I'm always here to listen. And then in my personal life as well, I want to try and come at it with the same attitude of, you know, if I see people treating me in this way, it is how I respond and how I react. It has nothing to do with that person. So I don't know if these thoughts resonate with you at all. I just need to talk about it. I just needed to chat and just let it off my mind um, that, you know, sometimes things happen that are out of our control and it is how we deal with them and how we navigate them and how we move about our day and about our being here in the world that ultimately reflects on us. You know, you are in control of you. So if you're facing these themes in your life at all, I, I want to just give you that note of, you know, you can move through them, you can move past them, use your better judgment and don't lose sleep at night over it. I will talk to you very soon. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Meet Mistress podcast. I'm your host, Emma Butler. I've really enjoyed chatting with you. Thanks for listening. I can't wait to see you back here again. If you'd like to keep up with all things happening, J&E Meats, which is our farm store and butcher shop, you can find us over on Instagram at J&E Meats and on Facebook as well too. I will talk to you again very soon.